two months ago we got uh, seven gulpers from Rodrigo and uh, one of them died today the other uh, six and uh, one of our old ones, this one have been doing okay actually I would say thriving so I'm not sure what happened it lived in this tank with uh, seven of the gul gulpers sexy the distributor sex fasciato fasciatos and uh, a couple of plecos this guy uh, has done okay for about a couple of weeks and then little by little it it succumbed to something which I'm not sure what it is I was trying to show you the final size is about 9 inches it stopped feeding and pretty much struggled for a month and a half it's pretty cool uh, tooth patches inside the mouth struggled for about a month and a half I thought he was gonna die a lot uh, a long long ago but he hang on but he passed uh, yesterday or today the tail was chewed up by the plecos after after death this has nothing to do with the with the cause of death uh, Rodrigo said that he has had him for quite a long time maybe a year or maybe half a year and they weren't selling that's when I came and grabbed all the bigger gulper he had for 70 bucks each 8 to 9 inches they they are so I, I assume whatever happened with it happened uh, because of the pathogens in, in our tank but can't be sure Maybe he had something already at Rodrigo's, who knows. But this is shooting in the dark, so... We're gonna roll with... Uh, with what we know. <laughs> the jaws are flexible, pretty soft and flexible and they can open 180 degrees. It's doing the swallowing moves. Flaring up the gills and everything. And the tooth patches are remarkable, holding on to, to prey. the second one for you. You see how his jaws bend. I mean they're pretty soft. Snake-like. So they can extend, bend, but still remain strong and hold on to their prey. So he's picking up his pellets.
he's trying to get it in si sideways. And he's got it. And he swallowed it sideways. Sideways. A remarkable fish. Their stomach are like latex. Completely expandable and pliable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks everybody ate. There's one more fish in the back. I'm sure somebody will pick it up. I feed gulpers once a week, so that's their week weekly meal. About one, two herring each. They're all set for the whole week. For some reason, sexy doesn't particularly go for fish pieces or fish. He strongly prefers pellets to anything else. We haven't fed gulpers in two weeks, I decided to give him a week off. Usually feed him once a week. But I decided to try and give him a little break. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> He's got three fish in his mouth. He's got to spit out at least a couple of them. Well, he's swallowing two at the same time. This guy got the third one. He's smiling. <laughs> his faith his face is stretched. Left and right. This guy. Herring head is sticking out of there, out of the side of this gulper. It's freaky and hilarious. Looks like everybody got some. 
I thought I gave him only seven herring and there's seven gulpers. But since at least one of them got two, so I'm not sure who hasn't got any. Maybe these two guys haven't gotten any. It doesn't look like it. So two of them got two. One guy working in the back. It's funny how they are able to flare out their gill plates, and uh, they look hilarious that way. Yeah, I think five of them. Eight and a couple of them had a two fish, and but two of them decided to take a break. Still, as I said, gulpers don't always eat each time. Most of them do, but not always. Some of them take breaks for a week, and for these two gulpers, it'll it'll be two two weeks or three week break. Guys, trying to arrange the herring so that it doesn't stick out of the out of his throat. You can see how the stomach muscles are flexed. This gulper is biting the is biting or it is biting the fins of the other gulper. That's strange, never seen it before. I was asked to do a little update on the gulper catfish. This is the usual day daylight view of the tank. Two of them, or four of them, prefer to be in couples. These two lay together, and these two lay together, and three others are singletons. This guy always occupies this spot. This guy is usually here. This guy is exercising right now. Sometimes they uh, lay one, one in each hole. Sometimes they may have three pieces or three gulpers laying together very rarely it could be four almost never usually two three at a time and singles sex is still in timeout waiting for his bigger and better tank we're waiting until he subsides and we could try him again in the 4500 gallons Last time he was trying to kill Lucy. When we tried, that was, I want to say, half a, half a year ago or so. Maybe four months ago, five. Time flies, I, it's hard to keep track in my mind. The plecos are being plecos. 
not doing anything when they're not grazing. I noticed their appetite has decreased significantly when the water got warmer. The water right now is about 86 Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius in this in this tank or in this water system of two tanks and a these two tanks and the 500 gallon sump underneath. So it's about uh, a thousand gallon water system. When the water was chill, uh, chiller, they uh, ate more. Like each of each of them ate one big herring every week. Right now, it's every other week or so. The second one in the back is our older gulper, the one that we've had uh, seven years. The way I tell him apart is that uh, his snout or both jaws, upper and lower, are a little bit more rounded as opposed to more angled uh, tips of the jaws on the other guys, on the six new ones that we got from uh, predatory fins eight months ago in November 2021 somebody was asking about their eyes you can see he's a lot of them a lot of their eyes are a little cloudy with a little white spot in the middle. Just more or less, but it's about the same on all of them. So I think it's the norm that their eyes are not transparent. And this white dot in the middle. It looks like they all have that. That guy has it too. It's hard to say on these guys because they're in the shadow. There's one, two, three, four, five of them for sure have that. I think those two also have that too. So I, um, I would say this is probably the norm. If you know differently or experienced differently, let me know in the comments. Singles may have to do with their gender. I haven't looked at it yet, but it's just my guess. I have to look at their genital papilla and the and the anal fin rays to be sure. My supposition has any merit whatsoever. I think it would make sense roughly so that we have four of them one gender and three of them of the opposite gender. Like close to the 50-50 split. This is the lazy day routine. This is how they are. I usually show you how they feed. This is how they are when they rest. I don't know what happens at night. I tend to go to bed at night. So whether they all, all exercise or what they do at night, I don't know. I leave a dim light night for everybody. 
on every night so um, whatever they do in that very dim light I'm not sure I'd have to set up a camera or stay late one night and see what happens This guy is the biggest and as he or she is always alone. I have to look at the photos of the male and female genitalia and the rays. If you know off the top of your head you can tell me what this one is. Male or female. I think that uh, roundish, roundish, protruding thingy. May indicate that this is a male. The larger papilla. Well, no, I thought papilla would look different. I wonder if it's just an anus. Again, to be. To make any sense, I have to look at the photos and read, read up on it before I again and again make a fool of myself. Now this guy also has a protrusion. How about you? Can you see anything there? Anyhow, these are our currently seven gulpers. Chilling. We've been having gulper problems. It looks like this is uh, the same disease that uh, has been taking out our fish every now and then since 2018, the last five years, that came with a wild caught, under treated, under quarantined wild caught fish. The main two symptoms that the fish either get swollen badly all over the body or lose their ability to keep the balance or both. The gulpers don't seem to swell but they lose the ability to keep the balance and uh, don't know which side is up, which side is down. So this was the second one that got sick, he's been sick for about a week. The one that just died yesterday, this guy had been sick for about a month. I was hoping it would get better, sometimes it do get better, but this one hasn't. And now this one has been struggling for about a week or so. This one worries me a little bit too. And the other one, when they're out like that, they usually should stay hidden during the day hours. But they're, when, they're, when they're out like that, this is not normal for them. This one comes out sometimes for no good reason when the lighting is bright. That guy over there and Floyd. The third one just perished as I said. So this is second gulper of the seven that we got from Rodrigo of predatory fish. Last November, today is August, so a little over half a year we had him. I have no idea of its age because we only kept it for the, for so short. Probably about a couple of years, maybe three years. It's about ten inches if I were to stretch it. The time is large, 
it's, it's, it's just gases. It filled up after it died with something, either fluid, either water or, or gas. I haven't fed our gulpers in about three weeks. So I gave them uh, six fish today. And it looks like uh, four or five of them ate. I even uh, lost track of which one was sick, which gave me some hope. If you remember, we just lost one and another one was sick and I wonder if this is the one that's laying on its side right now has been sick laying on its side doesn't mean anything I'm just saying that maybe that's the... no, that, he's got something in his stomach so he's, he ate yep he's got a herring in his stomach she's got a herring or two in her stomach He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. So maybe that one in the in the back is the only one that hasn't eaten. But anyhow, I, I think I have some hope, but maybe that uh, the second gulper that was sick, maybe it will recover. That's a very nasty disease. So I don't have a huge hope, but at least that sick gulper hasn't been laying upside down around this area like it used to. So here is a little bit of a hope. another gulper to the same disease I'm guessing the bacterial uh, disease which may be columnaris this is the third gulper the the first uh, we reported we lost it and then uh, I said that the second one was sick and then it ate so that one is still alive this is a third one this is a female and it, uh, it was sick for a much less time than, than the two males. Um, it's probably one of our biggest. If the tail was intact, the placo has walked on its tail. It'd be about, I'd say, 10 and a half, 11 inches. Um, that's one of the ones we got from Rodrigo about uh, eight months ago. 10 months ago so I don't know what kind of disease this is it, uh, the gulpers have been doing wonderfully for all this time just uh, in the last month or so they became sick there was probably some kind of a confounding factor such as uh, maybe high temperature maybe high temperature stressed them a little bit the temperature in our tanks right now is about 86, 87 degrees Fahrenheit so that's uh, 30 degrees Celsius so maybe that uh, stress weakens their immune system and uh, they become susceptible to that uh, bacteria which otherwise does not really bother them that's my only hypothesis at this point